welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I decided to do uh, the Madison Beer inspired makeup tutorial, the Vogue one that she recently did. And I have seen that pop up on my uh, YouTube so much. So I decided to do one. But instead, I'm going to use really affordable products that are easily available here in India. Madison used a lot of products that aren't available here in India and also some of those products are extremely pricey and expensive. So I am going to use something similar like these aren't going to be exact dupes, the products aren't going to be exact dupes, but they will give you the similar effect that of the products that medicine use so that is what we are going to do in today's video i just love medicine i have to say i think she is extremely pretty and beautiful and i just love her makeup style and i just love her outfits as well and i just feel like the style the way she does her makeup it's very similar to the way i do my makeup every single day i just feel like it's very natural very you know like skin like and yeah, I'm really, really excited to be doing this makeup tutorial. So anyway, let's get on with the video now. Also, if you are someone who's new to my channel or who's seeing me for the first time, thank you so much for clicking this video and hanging out with me. I post three days a week, which is Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 7 p.m. And I post skincare and makeup related videos. So if you like the vibe here, you can hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that Madison used is actually a soap on her brows, like the soap brow kind of a trend. So I'm going to use a Pears soap, you know, this is very, very inexpensive. So I'm going to use this and with some water, I'm just going to brush my eyebrows up. Madison actually did not use any other things on her brows, so I'm not going to be using any. Uh, for her skin, she used the Glossier Skin Tint, which is obviously not available here in India. So I chose this one. This is the Inside Ultra Thin, Thin Second Skin Foundation. Now this says it's a foundation, but it is like a skin tint totally. I really love it. I just love how natural it looks. I just love that it just looks like your skin but better kind of a thing and it just looks like a skin tint to me it has a very minimal coverage it almost just looks like glass skin when you apply this so i'm just going to use a beauty sponge because that's what she used so i'm just going to blend this all my skin is looking as you can see there is very less coverage but obviously it looks very skin like and it just looks very very glowy and dewy so for her concealer she used the nars radiant concealer and even though she went very you know low coverage on her skin she used a lot of concealer like the triangle shape concealer i don't use that way concealer these days that way but today i'm going to use it I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because everybody says, I don't have the NARS one, so everybody says that this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is very similar to the NARS Radiant Concealer, so that is why I'm going to use the Fit Me. concealer is done she uses a contour now for contour she uses the charlotte tilbury contour or bronzer the liquid one uh the thing is i don't have the charlotte tilbury one but i think this pack concealer in the shade i will leave the shade name down below uh because i don't have it here so anyway this concealer as a bronzer looks so good i just feel like it's going to give me that same kind of an effect that the charlotte tilbury one gives on the skin it just is very like natural looking and it just looks very good so she actually uh bronzers it puts her bronzer on like a on the high points not in here but like a little high so what that's what we're going to do today So after 
going in with the bronzer as you can see it has blended very seamlessly on my skin now Madison used a blush uh, the Charlotte Tilbury liquid blush she used and obviously that's very expensive so I pulled out my Hina Henna Beauty Lush Robe this is also a very similar type of a blush although I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury one again as I said I don't have it but I just feel like this is going to give you the very similar effect I just love this blush so much it just gives a very natural look on the skin and I just feel like this and the Charlotte Tilbury is kind of similar as far as I have seen from all of those beauty you know influencers and stuff I just feel like this is going to give you a very similar effect on the skin so I'm going to use the shade Reset now uh, Madison used a very pinky type of a shade but I have the shade Reset so I'm just going to use this one and uh, she uses uh, her blush on this area right here and here and on her uh, nose as well so I'm going to use a sponge and I'm going to blend this in so this is how my skin looks like now Madison uses a lot of blush on her nose as well so I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose Now that we are looking something like this, uh, she uses a Charlotte Tilbury powder to set her under eyes and since obviously I don't have a Charlotte Tilbury powder, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me powder and I really do like it. I just don't set my under eyes that much but today I'm just going to set a little bit. So this is how my skin looks like. Now Madison uses a lot of blush on her nose as well so I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose. Now for bronzer, again she uses a powder bronzer and she uses the Fenty one. I am going to use the e.l.f. bronzer instead. This is the e.l.f. Uh, bronzer in Constantly Bronzed. And this shade is so beautiful for my skin tone. So I'm just going to use this one. After the bronzer is done she uses a blush and she uses a Fenty Beauty blush. I'm going to use the sugar blush and this is in the shade uh, Famine Superstar. I really do love this blush a lot so I'm just going to use it and I'm going to put more on this area right here. So after her base, she moves on with the eyes. Now she uses a Morphe eyeshadow palette. It is her collab palette that she uses on her eyes. But for today, I am obviously going to use my Mars palette. This is very inexpensive. It gives a very similar kind of a vibe. So first, I'm going to take this transition shade right here and put it all across my uh, this crease here. She uses a brown for the crease and for the inner part she uses a very light shade so I'm going to use this shade and I'm just going to put this right here. So after the eye look is something like this what she does is she takes something of a brown like this a deep brown and she extends her inner part inner corner part uh, let me show you how she does it sends it like so and I'm going to use another dude so after that is done what she does is that she extends her this line right here and I am going to take the same brown shade and I'm going to just look straight right ahead and I'm just going to put this yeah that's it that, that's that's what she does and I'm going to do the same on this eye as well after this is done she uses a glossier mascara but today I'm going to use the Mars mascara this is something that I really have been loving a lot 
and I'm just going to use this. Lastly, for her eyes, what she does is she takes a shimmer shadow right here and she just puts it on this part of her eyelash, the downward. For her highlight, Madison uses two highlights. She uses a glossier, I think she uses, yeah, a glossier liquid highlighter and a Charlotte Tilbury liquid highlighter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Hilary Rhoda cream highlighter. I just feel like this highlighter is so good and it just looks so good on the skin. So I'm just going to use this. Now she uses a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner again, but today I'm going to use the Dazzler lip liner. I just feel like it is a perfect shade for me. Obviously, she is very much of a lighter skin tone, so, so she uses a lip liner that suits her skin tone, you know. So I'm going to use something that is going to suit my skin tone. uses a lip oil uh, but my lips are pigmented so I really need a little bit of color before going in with something glossy so I'm just going to use a lipstick and just pat it right here and after that I'm going in with a gloss I don't have a lip oil so I'm going in with this gloss this is a wet n wild glassy gloss so I'm going to use this today it's going to give a very similar kind of an effect, so that is why I'm going to use this. So this is how my makeup turned out and obviously she uses a setting spray. Uh, for setting spray, I'm just going to use a pack. This is the micro finish make makeup fixer. I really, really do love this a lot. Now you can use any setting spray that you have in your collection. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to use this. Last what she does is she put on some hoops. Obviously, I love my hoops. I really, really love wearing hoops a lot. So obviously, I am going to put these hoops. I'm going to link from where I got these. I got this from Amazon. So yeah, I'm going to link uh, these hoops as well in the description box. So this is my Madison Beer inspired makeup tutorial. I just feel like uh, this look is very natural. It has a lot of blush obviously and that's it. Uh, I really really do love how the skin is looking, how you know everything looks, everything just ties up together. I really love really love her makeup style and obviously the inner corner bit is kind of a new thing for me. I do the liner, the brown liner always but the inner corner is what was a little bit new for me. Other than that, everything, I really, really incorporate it in my everyday makeup routine. Let me know if you guys liked it. And I will leave all the products that I used in the description box below. As I said, these products are not dupes, but obviously they can be used, you know, in order to achieve a very similar look. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys a lot. Definitely hit the subscribe button if you are someone new and if you like the video. Uh, yeah, so I will see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.